And in this video, we are going to talk about the different types of marketing. Hey guys, welcome back to the David Dodge Show. And in this video, we are going to talk about the different types of marketing to find those deals, guys. So if you know anything about me, I am a St. Louis investor. I've been full time at this for six to seven years, and I've actually been investing uh, for about 15 years going on at this point. Um, I love to wholesale properties. I also like to fix and flip properties, and I love owning rentals. In fact, this morning I looked at my portfolio and I have 54 doors as of today. So we're gonna talk in this video, coming from my living room, about the different types of marketing that work the best to find the best deals. So before we jump in, guys, hit that subscribe button. And at any point in this video, if you like what you see, hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate that. Stick around to the end of this video and I am going to be giving you guys a little bonus. So let's talk about the different types of marketing. But before we do so, I wanna say something real quick about some doors. And I always refer to these doors as exit strategies. So if you wanna be a real estate investor that focuses on fix and flip, well, that's great. And if you want to be a real estate investor that does nothing but wholesale, well, that's great too. And I encourage that. And if you want to be a real estate investor that does the rental landlord game or the Burr method, I would love for you to do that. And I would encourage you to do that as well. I do all three, but why am I talking about this? Well, here's why, because if you're not able to get a good deal on a piece of property, then none of those doors are really good doors to walk through. But if you're able to get a great deal on a piece of property, then all those doors are wide open and you can pick whichever door you want. So please, 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 if you get anything from this video, just know that you make your money when you buy and you get paid when you sell. So you really need to be le learn how to buy properties at a discount. You need to, to get good at marketing so you can find these people that are willing to sell you those properties at a discount. So that's my little door story. The doors are open if you have a discount, guys. You can go and choose any exit. But if you're not buying properties at a good deal, at a good discount, well, then it becomes very difficult to do the burst strategy or a fix and flip might not be the great, the best opportunity or the best exit strategy if you're not getting a really good deal. So just learn how to find good deals. And when you do that, and you learn how to get good at the marketing and how to find good deals, then any of those things become possible. So again, this video is about the marketing. Let's jump in. So there's lots of different ways to find deals via marketing methods. And if you just wanna be a wholesaler, then you need to understand right now, right here, today, that wholesaling business isn't even really about real estate investing. And it's definitely not about real estate. It's about marketing and people, which is so crazy. And real estate's the product, of course, that's bought and sold and transferred of hands. But the business is marketing. So. Number one, first thing I'd recommend anybody and everybody that's looking to get better at marketing will be to start networking. Networking is literally the most effective, it's the cheapest, and it's probably the most fun to do type of marketing. And what I mean by networking is don't keep your business a secret. Let every single person you come in contact with or know, let them know that you are looking to buy houses. Let them know, get that out there. Go network, find real estate investment groups. These are called RIAs. You can also find groups that aren't really associated with the, the National Association, like the RIAs, on meetup.com. And when I first started, guys, I was going and getting lunch one or two times a week with different landlords, different wholesalers, different fix and flippers, and I was networking, and I continue to do so. So number one, start with networking. It's free. Just find people that are doing things locally, 
go meet them. And in fact, every one of my investors that lends money to me at this point, every one of them, I met at a real estate investment club. It's crazy. Networking is so powerful. So start there. Next, I would suggest driving for dollars. And you can do so with the Deal Machine app or the Batch Driven app, and I'm sure there's other apps like PropStream even offers it that will allow you to drive for dollars and help you and systematize it. It makes it safer and it allows you to add features onto just plotting properties like skip trace those properties so you can call them or text them or even send them a piece of direct mail, guys. All right? So drive for dollars, and that's nothing more than getting in your car and going out and looking for properties that look like they need work. So let's take a step back here. We're trying to find people to give us great deals, right? We make we, our money when we buy, we get paid when we sell. What better way to find discounts on property than offer somebody convenience? Well, if you see a house that needs a ton of work, wouldn't that come off as convenient for somebody to be able to sell that without having to do all that work? Absolutely it would. So get out there and do some driving for dollars. Find these properties that look like they need work, all right? Driving for dollars is literally one of my favorite ways to find deals, and in fact, some of my biggest deals, I did a deal that was six figures, a wholesale deal, from driving for dollars. You can do those too. So start with networking, start with, the, with next driving for dollars, and then from there, if you wanna go pull lists, I pull lists from batch leads, I use PropStream as well, and I'll pull these lists of motivated sellers. And when we do so, we're trying to find people on these lists that we presume have some motivation to want the convenience that we as investors, marketers, right, provide. What's that convenience? Cash, quick, and as is. That's really it. There's other things, of course, but really those are the conveniences. So you can pull those lists and to find lists of presumed motivation, look for the absentee list. My favorite list of all is the vacant list. Number one, start with vacants, then get your absentee lists. And if you want to get other lists, you can get pre-foreclosure, you can get divorce, you can get um, probate or death. Um, we love the high equity lists as well, guys, and we stack these lists. When we're pulling our lists, we typically always look for off market properties off market because the real estate agent hasn't already gone and convinced the seller the property's worth more than it is. It's easier. And in the last four or five years, we've averaged buying about a hundred houses a year and only three to 5% of those houses, three to 5% of a hundred houses a year are on market. The other 95 plus percent guys are off market. So when you pull those lists, you skip trace them. I personally like using batch leads because it doesn't charge you to skip trace the same lead twice. And you can SMS them, cold SMS them, in the app or in the, in the software. So once you are able to pull this list or you create your own from driving for dollars, my cat's gonna come say hi, and you have these lists, you skip trace them, and then you can do what I had mentioned earlier. And you can cold text these lists, you can even cold call these lists. My company uses the Batch Dialer. We love Batch. They have the most amazing products. So we'll cold call them, we'll cold text them. And sometimes we'll send them direct mail. The direct mail typically is just a postcard. It's nothing fancy, guys. Don't overthink it. But the goal is to market to them that you have a convenience to offer them and a property that you wanna buy as long as they are willing to give it to you at a discount. So networking, start there. Do some driving for dollars. Networking's free. Driving for dollars is so cheap. I mean, you could literally use a notepad and a piece of paper and write them down, or you can get one of these apps that will help you skip trace, send some mail, maybe even do some SMS for you know 80 to 100 bucks a month, guys. Pull some lists. Find the motivated sellers on these lists and market to them and try to set appointments and try to make friends with them and try to see those who are looking for your convenience and in exchange make offers to them at discounted rates, of course. So there's lots of different ways. So you have your, your networking, you have your driving for dollars, you have your lists, which you may have bought or pulled or you created yourself and you've cold called and you've cold texted. 
And there's lots of other ways like bandit signs. Bandit signs is one of my favorite ways to market because it's so cost effective. You can buy a bandit sign for like $1.50. Or another way to look at it is you can buy a thousand bandit signs for 1500 bucks that have your number on them or a Google voice number or whatever number you want or even a website. And you go put these all around town, hang them from telephone poles, put them at intersections and people will call them. There's obviously other ways like radio or billboards and I'm leaving out probably 50 other ways to go about marketing to find these motivated sellers. And the point of this video isn't to overwhelm you with 50 different methods but instead let you know that there are over 50 different methods to do, but your goal is to pick one, not two, not three, pick one of these methods and start doing something. Go do that networking, go do that driving for dollars. Go pull that list and start cold calling or cold texting those people or go buy some bandit signs, guys. Don't do any more than that, just pick one, maybe two at the most, but start doing those effort start doing that marketing and you know what's going to happen your phone is going to start ringing or if you're outbound calling or texting people are going to start answering they're going to start responding to those text messages sounds crazy right but that's what happens when you do the marketing so start doing that marketing and you are going to get on the phone with people and then from there you now have the opportunity to make a friend make an offer and go get a house at a deal and the rest is history. That's how deals are done. It all starts with the marketing, all right? It's so incredibly simple. If you like this video, hit that like button for me. Let me know you liked it. Drop a comment if you're doing these types of marketing and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out freewholesalecourse.com if you wanna learn how to do this. We've created a free course and we want you to take it. No strings attached. Go learn the fundamentals. But basically, it all starts with marketing. So pick one and go get it done. Go start doing it, guys. Signing off. Until next time.